Jack, you gotta pick up the pace, dude. Look at Sean. Look at him, Jack. <laughs> Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're outside Pirozhek, Pirozhek pierogies, guys, in Little Poland, New York City. Yes, that's right, so we're here in New York City again, guys. So happy to be back. I love New York. It's a lot of fun, crazy places, and here in Little Poland at Pirozhek, which is a uh, restaurant specializing in handmade pierogies. So you know they are good, guys. So we're gonna have some real authentic Polish flavors, guys, some authentic pierogies, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so today we're here doing their pierogi eating contest. So this is a $500 pierogi eating contest. Yes, that is right. First place, $500. I believe second place is $100. So hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, it is a five minute all you can eat contest. Um, that's pretty much about it. Five minutes, all you can eat, most pierogies possible. Uh, there's nothing really more else to say. Uh, standard rules, I mean, obviously, you know, there's no reversals, um, no use in the restroom, etc. You can allow, allow all beverages or is eating in any form which you may. Um, but that's about that. So let's go on in, let's get you some more details, let's eat some pierogies. Hopefully we can win some cash. And uh, at that, let's head on in and let's have some fun. Okay, guys, again, my name is Radek. Uh, and me and my wife, we own the shop, we organize this tournament. Uh, we would like to especially thank Patricia who helped us organize all of this. Uh, thank you, thank you to our Jacob, our manager, who also uh, big time participating. Obviously, let's thank our beautiful staff who made all of this pierogi for us. And lastly, thank you very much to all participants for being here, for taking the challenge. And, and, and obviously, I wish uh, and I hope you guys going to have a great time. Whoever eats the most pierogi wins. Okay? The tray in front of each of you contains 30 pierogies. Okay? If you finish all 30, your breath will provide you additional trays of 10. That just keeps us uh, for the count. It makes it really easy to count. So, a tally will be confirmed by each referee. At the end, the full tally will be completed on my board. So, we'll excuse ourselves for a second and do a final tally. If you vomit, you're done. Sorry. You are disqualified and suspended, and we cannot keep working with you. If you're found to be cheating, you're also automatically disqualified. If you don't feel well, you don't have to keep going, but you will be suspended. But just Listen to your body. This is meant to be fun. Um, and then once the five minutes is up, this is like the most important thing I want you to remember if you remember anything that I'm saying. So if your mouth is still full after the five minutes, you'll have, you have 30 seconds to finish chewing and swallow, okay? But you cannot put any more pierogi in your mouth. You just have to finish chewing and swallowing what you have. If you throw up during that 30 seconds, you're out. Um, and if you're suspended, yellow card, red card, whatever. But if you are still chewing after 30 seconds, you will be deducted minus five from your count. So you're not disqualified, you just take five off your count. Are you ready? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jack, you gotta pick up the pace, dude. Yeah, Sean. Look at him, Jack. Eat. Go! Eat him. Let's go. Let's go. This is insane. He's choking me around. Give it up! You got this, Jack. Got him, Jack. Let's go, Jack. Let's be good, Jack. Come on, let's go, Jack. 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 Let's go, Jack.
Yo, Joel is cruising 30 in 30 in a minute, dude. Oh. You might have to like stand up. Come on! No tomorrow! Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Pirojek. Yes, Pirojek for their pierogi eating contest. So, as we stated, there was a $500 first place cash prize, a $300 second place cash prize, and then there was a gift card for third place. Um, so, going into this contest, I will say the pierogies are absolutely delicious. They're all handmade. They were a traditional potato and cheese. Uh, the contest again five minutes whoever can eat the most pierogi we started off with 30 and then we're getting portions of 10 from there I found the easiest way to eat them was to grab two or three and basically just mow at those um, definitely a lot of big bites definitely a lot of swallowing big portions which is where the liquid and the water comes in besides that it was a pretty straightforward contest um, the gentleman beside me was definitely a good eater. He did 30 in like two minutes. Of course, I had my good friend Scott. He got into the contest last minute, what was really awesome. Um, so it was basically us just trying to eat some good pierogies, uh, eat as many as we can, and hopefully go home with a first, second, or third place prize. With that, everyone, I'll leave you to it, and uh, let's get to the rest of the video. Do you even have anything in your mouth, Jack? God. 20 seconds, 20 seconds to win. 20 seconds. Shoot! Shoot! Good job, Jack. Good job. 10 seconds to finish. That's it. 9 seconds. Nice bird. Matt and Mark. Then we have Sean 
who ate 19 pierogi. Then we have Koi, who ate 23 pierogi. With 37 pierogi, Damian. Good job, man. We stand, we stand, we stand. Woo, 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 woo. All right, woo. second place, 56 pierogi. It's a big old check. Yeah. Or on an airplane. <laughs> Everyone, so there we go. That's pretty cool. Got ourselves a great big check. This will be fun to take in a car and on a plane and whatever else. But much appreciated, guys. The hospitality here has been fantastic. The food is awesome. All handmade pierogies. I have no complaints at all. So very blessed, very honored. And like I said, huge thanks to everybody here. Really, really love the place. Pierre Check is an awesome, awesome location. So yeah, happy to be here in Little Poland. So, you guys want to know what we've seen in New York City? This. Traffic. Lots and lots and lots of traffic. Um, you know, not saying that that isn't part of the experience, but we really haven't had any time to do any sightseeing. We've just basically been looking at traffic and eating. And eating. I will say, you know, you know, we get we get what five minutes, five nice minutes of views. Uh, we're downtown. Maybe you know, if we grab the subway and walk around a little bit, we I guess we get a little bit more. But traffic. But uh, New York, guys, New York, New York, definitely again a very, very, very notable, memorable, famous place all throughout the world, um, and it is very impressive for what it is. Absolutely, the giant, giant, giant city. And I don't know where the heck Google is taking me, but we're uh, on our way to New Jersey, so let's keep on going. And we are heading onto the Manhattan Bridge. Yes, the Manhattan Bridge. Um, this is technically the lower roadway. There's the upper roadways, which are like there and there, where the, you know, parade supports kind of are there. But nonetheless, the lower, I actually don't know if I've ever been on the lower. I've been, definitely been up there on the upper uh, roadway, but this is the lower roadway. Um, now, this is in Manhattan, or again, leaving Manhattan. If we look to our, uh, well, not, I guess, leaving, but heading to, heading to Manhattan, whatever it is. If you look there through the supports, you can see all the beautiful New York buildings. All the notable, notable, notable skylines. Some of the most world famous, picturesque uh, kind of sights to be seen, at least arguably, I think, in our modern day and age. All right, and just off the Manhattan Bridge, technically, I think this is uh, Chinatown. Um, we have Popeyes and in, in with, a, I believe that's Chinese. Um, or, and yeah, so some more little New York sights. Um, it's just, I tell you what, it is actually kind of a marvel just to come to New York, drive around, walk around, take the subway. Honestly, I'd probably say not drive around, uh, walk around, take the subway, whatever. And just kind of see the infrastructure they have. The, the, just the buildings, like everything is so built. There is literally no, 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 no waste in space here. Um, it's pretty impressive. It is just, you know, they call it a concrete jungle for a reason. The jungle because it's kind of crazy and intense and there's just all kinds of things happening 
wild things, wild people, wild happenings. Shout out the police. Um, and then, of course, just concrete. So, here we go, guys. Chinatown. Some more sights of Chinatown as we kind of head out of Chinatown. This is uh, a little bit, you know, obviously we had some traditional, classic kind of New York graffiti. Um, just again, just buildings upon buildings upon buildings upon buildings, which is very accurate for a lot of New York City. Again, obviously certain areas more so than others, X, Y, Z, but definitely pretty, pretty standard um, kind of views and sites that you would be seeing around. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.